Hey guys, I'm back with another video. In today's video, I will be going ahead and doing my paycheck um, one budget. Um, I don't know why I had that there. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications of my next upload. Now, if this is your first time coming across my channel, hi, my name is Cheryl. I do, I do do budgeting videos, planning videos, and recently I have added to the channel Entrepreneur Life videos. I have opened up my own Etsy sticker shop as well as I have just launched um, um, my cosmetics website. Um, we're kicking off the launch with lip glosses right now, but we do plan on, well, not, I don't know why I say we because it's only me right now, um, but I do plan on expanding into other things which will be coming up so now that i have introduced myself let's go ahead and get into the video now the way that i do like to budget well before i go ahead and tell you this um that this is my monthly view this is how i go ahead and set up um my bills and expenses and stuff in this calendar view and this is how i go ahead and plan out um, my paycheck budgets so currently we are at sunday which is at may the third i do get um a paycheck for wednesday um may 6th and that is um my unemployment check currently i did have a full-time job which i was salary for but then i was furloughed because of um um covet 19 so i am on unemployment right now and that payment does hit on the 6th of may so we will basically be looking at all of our bills from the 6th to the 12th that is how i'd like to do um my budgets and my check-ins um just because it corresponds with um how my actual paychecks come in and i find that that works best for me so just to show you a little recap of how i do like to budget i do go ahead and set up my calendar view here i have my secret fund set up here which i have already filmed both of these videos so you can go ahead and check those out if you haven't already and then i do like to go ahead and put my may budget here as well as other trackers and stuff that i do film and that are up on my channel now i do like to go ahead and um let me just take these out because there's a lot back here um i do like to go in the note section of this planner if you don't know this is an erin condren deluxe monthly and it comes with um the calendar views you have five line note pages inside of the um monthly headers i guess and then in the back of the planner you have um, note pages. So I like to use my note pages to go ahead and do my paycheck budgets and that's why I do them at. So I always order like 10 extra line pages so I can go ahead and do that. And I will be using a kit for my shop. This is my paycheck um, budget kit. Um, the kit does come like this. It doesn't come with all these scripts. Um, if you happen to purchase one through four, then you would get four of these little kits as well as the script so you get one thick washi strip and then you get four headers to go ahead and plan out um what you want to plan out and additionally you can go ahead and purchase um the the washi kit a la carte if that's something that you want to do but um i don't know if i made this change already because i was changing the actual washi strips for the budgeted kits and the variable income kits but I do, oh, ooh, that was laid down a little cray cray, um, I think because of stuff under here. I do feel like I'm just going to have like everything match. I thought that was prettier than this, but that's besides the point. If you want like the thin washi strips that comes in the washi kit, you will have to go ahead and pick that up, which it shouldn't be a problem. Um, so this is going to be my paycheck one budget. And it will be the first budget of the month for me. And my hands is a little ashy, but that is fine with me. Now I have um, this Muji pen here. I do like to go ahead and use this to budget some. I use this pen. I haven't used it in a while because I don't know. I don't know why. I just have been reaching for other pens. But I'm back with an uh, oldie but goodie. So 
we're back on it like we never left. So now my income is going to be, um, I'm going to put unemployment because that's what it is for right now. And then we have variable income. And I do like to mark just if I um, receive like, if I receive, if you hear any noise, that is my child. I don't know why she's yelling like she's crazy oh, or why she's even up this time of morning making noise because the oh, child, the schools, the schools. Um, so this is just in case I have, you know, my businesses, I do like to track that income here. Um, but I do not include that in my budget. So my unemployment check will be 966 and we won't budget anything for the variable income. If it happens to be any, then I'll go ahead and put it in there, but I won't make like a big deal to include that variable income. And then even though there's some coming, when I do my recap, you could go ahead and see that. You know, if you're subscribed, and if you're not subscribed, then, you know, go ahead and subscribe. You feel me? So, it looked crooked. I thought I was fixing it, and then it still, it still was crooked. I think that's straight now. Okay. And this paycheck is going to be relatively light. It's not going to be probably a lot going on um, just because um, we got most of the major stuff out the way. When I thought that I wasn't receiving a paycheck, I actually did. So for the end of the month, I didn't film that though because it was no point. Okay, so the first expense we have is my car note. And that's going to be 224 We have Amazon Prime that will be coming out. And this is um, auto, auto pay. We have my credit one bill that's due. And that's going to be $30. And then we have my sinking funds that we'll go ahead and stuff out of here. Um, and that's going to be a hundred dollars. Then I do have other expenses that I do like to go ahead and um, save towards. So we have the my savings challenge that I'm still decide decided to do um and that was save a thousand dollars in um it was save a thousand dollars in twenty six weeks or twenty eight weeks one of them like that one is one of them I think it's twenty six weeks um, so we're well on track with that. I do think after I go ahead and hit that goal, I will be doing it again. And this time I will ask you guys to go ahead um, and join me if that's something that you want. And then we have my rent expenses. $362.50. So my rent is $14.50, but what I like to do is put money aside every month. Um, I mean, every week out of my paycheck towards my rent. That way, at the end of the month, I don't have to worry about scrambling or anything like that. So, I am going to put unbudgeted. Um, and we don't budget anything for unbudgeted. But I do like to put it there because sometimes... Your girl get a little cray cray um and i'm gonna go ahead and add up all these purchases well all my expenses so let me just do it one more time 
because sometimes I be skipping stuff. Okay, so all in all, we have a total of 775 35 and from 966 that leaves 190 50 that we have left to um roll over and for right now this will be going this will be going into my savings and um this will be going into my savings to go ahead and roll over and roll over on the next check um, so that we can make that big debt payment that we have um, planned for this month. Um, so that would be it on my um, Paycheck One budget. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you guys see any stickers that you want to go ahead and pick up, I do have um, June releases up already. July releases is coming very soon. Um, but the, by the time you see this video, my um, May stuff will be off the site already but you can pick up anything else that you see and i do have a code for my youtube subscribers and you can save 15 percent off with the code youtube um so if you're subscribed go ahead and use that coupon code to go ahead and pick you up something nice and i do think that will be all follow me on my social medias at simply rel budgets and at simply underscore rel um and I do think that, yeah, I'm done now. <laughs> I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Yeah, yeah.